Hello, everybody. I'll be on in just a second. Uh, how does my audio sound? It looks like it's really loud. I'm gonna turn it down just a bit. But how do I sound? How do I... How, well, you can't see me yet, but... On the inside, how do I look? Probably pretty beautiful. <laughs> Alright, I'll be on in just a sec. So I'm going to put into the chat right now uh, a poll for choosing the color for today's rose. Because I don't want to do another red rose. I've got like four red roses now. Well, Jules has four red roses. But I want to make a different color. So you guys get to choose between blue, pink, and purple. I'm going to put it in a poll in the uh, chat right now. Dang, Marta, I didn't even think about yellow. What a goofball. Yellow would have been a good choice also. All right, let's rock and roll. Oh, wait, I forgot my hat. I forgot. I forgot we made this last week. I'm not going to wear it the whole live stream, but I'm going to wear it for a little bit. There we go. What do you guys think of the hat? Also, check out my new shirt. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I got a new Club Crochet shirt. Doesn't it look great? Hey everybody, welcome to the live stream. Today, we're going to be making a rose, a beautiful rose, and it's going to be on a wire so that we can bend it to be in any direction we want. I think I'm going to do, hold on, i got to pause that. I think right off the bat, let's go ahead and make this so it can like stand up like this. Like that. There we go. Now we've got a, now we've got a standing rose for the intro. Well, I guess we can put it, put it right like that. 
That looks pretty good. I like that. All right, guys. Well, hello. Welcome to the live stream. Today, we're going to be crocheting a rose. Uh, let me talk about what you need for this pattern uh, for today and then uh, talk about how you can support this channel. And then we'll just get rocking and rolling crocheting. Rocking, rolling, and crocheting. So, if you want to crochet along with me today, well, good news. The pattern is totally free for today and tomorrow. So, for Valentine's, the day before Valentine's Day and Valentine's Day. Yeah. Uh, if you want to get the pattern, you can find it right here, clubcrochet.com slash rose. You can find it right there. That's all you got to do. There's a link in the description of this video as well. Um, if you want to crochet with me, you need the following materials. I'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton because that's what I like using. You can use any kind of uh, yarn that you want as long as both colors are the same. You only need two colors for this. You'll need your main color, which is going to be the color of the rose itself. You guys are voting right now on what we want to do for our main color. It's between pink, blue, and purple. Uh, I foolishly didn't think about yellow or white because I'm a goofball and I just didn't think about it. I'm sorry about that. Those would have been really good options. Whoops. Looks like it is a pretty close call, uh, but blue might be winning, maybe? I don't know. You also need green, and this is going to be for the stem and the, f uh, the leaf, and then a small amount of wire. I like using this really, really strong wire uh, because then it really helps hold it into position, which is, is doing right here. Um, if you'd like to help support this channel, there are a few ways you can do so. Oh, wait. You also need a crochet hook. I'm using a size G four millimeter crochet hook, and then you'll need a darning needle um, to sew in the ends. I like using a crimped end darning needle, but but I don't know where I put it. All right, I got one somewhere, but we're gonna just have to. I think we're going to have to figure that part out later. <laughs> oh, well, we'll, f we'll find it eventually. Um, so uh, those are the materials you need. Now, if you want to help support this channel, there are a few ways you can do so. The first bestest, cheapest, easiestest, not bestest, but easiestest, that, that seems right, way to help support is to like this video down below, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. If this video gets another 300 likes. Actually, you know what? Let's do 350. I think that's fair because before this video even started, it had 130 likes, which is insane. I just liked it myself uh, to help it out. But if it gets 350 likes, we're going to do a another giveaway. Oh, speaking of giveaway, we're doing a giveaway today. Uh, if you want to win a free month-long membership to Club Crochet. All you got to do is comment on the most recent Instagram post. Here, let me show you it on my phone because I got it right here. This is the post, and it has all the rules right there. Boop, boop, boop. Super quick giveaway. And all you have to do is you just got to comment and tag your Valentine. That's it. And at the end of this live stream, I am going to give away a free month membership to someone who wins. Um, okay, so that is, oh, we didn't even finish talking about how you can help support, um, other than doing the amazing thing that Tina just did, which we will talk about that in a second as well. Um, if you want to support monetarily, I would really appreciate it. And there's a few ways you can do that too. The, probably the best ways with a membership. Club Crochet members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the full library of exclusive patterns, including like a whole bunch of patterns. There's like, there's a bunch of dinosaurs. There's a bunch of, these, these ones are coming out soon. They're called, they're called, uh, I'm calling them bonimals. Um, there's obviously, we got a bunch of burbs. So those all get full memberships, uh, or yeah, yeah. If you get a membership, you get full access to all my patterns. Everything I do has video tutorials, and you can even get monthly kits mailed to your door with all the materials that you need. This month's kit was for a crocheted rose, so you actually got all the materials that you need to make this rose uh, in that kit. And it came with extra yarn for making a little um, uh, heart, so a classic heart. Next month's Club Crochet kit is gonna be for this here reversible frog. You can see he's like, oh, I'm so goofy, and then you can flip him around, and then he's and then he's a grumpy boy. He's a very grumpy boy. 
So this is next month's club crochet kit. If you sign up before the end of the month, you'll get the kit. Uh, and then we're going to do a crochet along for it next month. So you can have all the yarn that I'm going to be using in the video, just like this one. Um, yeah. Oh, you can also help support by purchasing merch kits in the store. Um, we got a bunch of kits available. We got some pins. I'm going to start adding no more pins soon. I'm thinking about doing a monthly, like, to, to do a, a pin subscription too. So like I'm thinking we have the $5 a month membership, but I'm thinking I'm doing of doing another membership that's $10 that gets you a pin and uh, an extra thing that we're building on the website. I wanna know what you guys are thinking about that. Would you guys like a pin membership? Was that something that'd be cool? Um, obviously pro members would get the pins too. But yeah, let me know in the chat if that is something that you guys think it would be cool because I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, we also have stickers available. Um, this one's my favorite. We got Church of Perch stickers. We got anyone could be a hooker stickers. Um, T-shirts. I'm going to add this one to the website soon. This is my brand new one. We're doing a booth in the beginning of March. I'll talk about it a little later, but I wanted to have outfits for the booth. So I got this cool outfit. I feel like I'm a, I feel like I'm a techie startup boy in this outfit but i like it uh okay i think that's everything if you want to find the pattern again it's at clubcrochet.com slash rose it is free for two whole days just two um giveaway information's in the chat and then uh oh yeah the last way you can help support is with a donation if you want to donate just go to clubcrochet.com slash tip there's a link in the uh description for where you can do that or you can support with a super chat if you support or become a Club Crochet member throughout the live stream, I'm gonna put out a little crocheted thing for you out here. So, I got a whole, I got a whole group of them right here that I've been waiting. And Tina, there we go. Tina, Tina jumped on it real, real quick. So, um, I think we start the stack, the bottom of stack. And I think because it's for Valentine's Day, we start with our pink little piggly. So uh, these are the Bonhamel patterns that are coming out soon. This is going to be out for you, Tina. And you know what, Tina? This one needs a name. Uh, Tina, wh wh what would you like to name this little piglet? I don't think we've named him yet. So we're going to put this piglet right here in the corner. And then slowly throughout the stream, it will grow in size. And we're going to move this cute little rose thing I'll put right there for right now we're gonna have a sip of coffee because coffee makes the world go around and let's see wow 140 votes already what that's insane oh my god it is a close call it looks like looks like we got a pink rose today that's great I kind of wanted a pink to make a pink rose to be honest so that's perfect um, pink rose and how do I end the poll? Let's do it. End the poll. End the poll. Uh, what size crochet hook are we using? Someone asked uh, Rhonda. Rhonda asked what size. We're using a size G4 millimeter crochet hook. Um, you could use a smaller crochet hook too. I find that those work pretty well. Like, um, I think F is the smaller one or E? E. I think E is pretty good for this too, um, for this pattern specifically, because the it needs to be like pretty tight stitches. Where did I put my darning needle? My ding dang darning needle. I know I got one somewhere. Oh, there it is. I found it. Found it. Um. Oh. Hey guys, new pattern coming out in just a few days actually. Um, we wanted to come out with it on this Friday, but it didn't come out in time. So I'm just gonna show you it now. It's gonna come out uh, this Friday, coming up. We're making strawberries. This is a chocolate covered strawberry and a big boy regular strawberry. Look at this big boy hunker. I wanna eat this, I wanna eat it. Uh, these are a new pattern coming to the website by uh, Drooby Zoo. 
That is a uh, another Amigurumi artist. He is a TikToker and Instagrammer, uh, and he's trying to get into YouTube also. But I reached out and asked if he wanted to do a collaboration pattern with me, and he came out with this, or he came up with this amazing strawberry pattern. So we tossed it back and forth a few times, made some changes here and there, uh, and we love it. Oh my god! I mean, like, look how perfectly shaped. Ah. Oh! And the, the stem part here, this part's so, it's really cute. So this pattern is coming out on Friday. So it'll be coming out very, very soon. I really like the chocolate cover one. This was my addition to it, um, is to do this little like drippy bit here. I'm really proud of that. Um, but yes, I'm very, very excited about it. Look at how perfect, I'm just, ugh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna see if he wants to do a bunch of more uh, of like giant fruits because it'd be really cool. Cause then we could have like, like a bunch of grapes or, or or oranges or you know other fruit like that <laughs> apples okay well let's get hooking how's your guys week been how's everybody been doing i didn't miss i didn't miss anything did i oh oh that's right today is uh if you are in america and you're a fan of sports happy superb owl <laughs> I'm personally not a huge fan of sports. I'm a fan of crocheting. <laughs> Although I do like owls. You know what? Next donation, we'll put out a little owl for you for the superb owl. <laughs> if you want it. If you're not a fan of superb owls, then I totally get it. Is there going to be a video lesson? Yes, there will. Just like every single pattern. I don't know if you knew that. Every single pattern that I come out with... Almost everything that I share on the screen here either has a video tutorial or is going to have a video tutorial in a couple days. I don't release anything without a video tutorial. Willow's having a, had a great week. I'm so I'm so glad. How am I? You know what? I'm doing great today and yesterday, but this week I was low. Something the Mars was in retrograde or something. I don't freaking know, but I did not have. I just didn't want to get up. You know. It was one of those weeks. It was just a bad week for me. But it got better. Um, I got out of my funk. Jules helped me get out of my funk, which was really nice. Uh, and yeah, it's got better. Happy early birthday to someone in the chat. Oh, Naomi. Happy early birthday. Naomi's birthday's tomorrow on Valentine's Day. How cool. All right. So we're going to start by crocheting petals. Now, I'm not doing a video tutorial in this video like I made an entire video tutorial just for this pattern where I go through every single stitch one by one. So I'm not going to do that again in this video. Instead, I'm just going to crochet and then let you know where I'm at. I'm going to start by making petals. We have to make eight of these petals, though. So I'm just going to keep going and, yeah, just keep rocking and rolling there. And if you want the video, the actual video tutorial where I teach you how to make it, um, just go to clubcrochet.com slash rose. It's there and it's free. For a couple of days at least um, but I've made a bunch of these roses now so I think I know it from the top of my head I don't think I need the pattern maybe I don't know it'd be cool if I could do it without the pattern the tricky part is making sure that this tail end is where you want it to be throughout the start glad to know thank you so much Sarah I appreciate that yeah it was I don't know I was in a funk it was a funky week for me. Um, I just didn't want to do, I just didn't want to be, you know? One of those weeks. I think everybody deals with them every now and then. It's like the the bed was turned around. I kept waking up on the wrong side of it. Yeah, I don't know why. Buttercup, buttercup. Tina has named this piglet buttercup and it is up to everyone, including myself, to remember that name. This is the Piglet Buttercup, Princess Buttercup. I think we should call it Princess Buttercup. Tina, let me know. Can we call it Princess Butter Buttercup? It seems like a princess to me. And also, you know, Princess Bride. Do Elena, Elena Crochet Corner asked, a rose by any other hook. Ask, uh, do y'all have a valentine? Do y'all have a valentine? Everybody's got a valentine. It can even be just... I know I know. my valentine for a long time uh, was my mom. 
because I love my mom. But my Valentine is Jules, of course. Of course. If you haven't met Jules yet, you should check out our Loop and Pearl podcast. We're, we're going to record another one in just a few... Well, we really we were supposed to record another one like weeks ago, but our bookshelf fell over. I don't know if I told you guys that. In my live stream for my birthday, um, there was a bookshelf behind her, and then right after the live stream, the whole bookshelf fell over. No one got hurt, thank goodness. But uh, since then, like our apartment, our our living room in our apartment is just like shambles right now. So. We haven't had a chance to record our podcast in a second. Buttercup it is. Yep, that's right. We have video evidence. It is Buttercup. Oh, yes. And go check out Jules's channel. She, I think her YouTube channel is Knit by Jules. She doesn't post too often, but um, I'm trying to get her to post more often there. So go check that out. Yes, Princess Buttercup the Piglet. We should make um, a little crown for Princess Buttercup. I've been doing, uh, I've been putting magnets in these guys. So, um, well, oh, Cooperlicious! Cooperlicious, wow, 20 bucks right off the bat. All right, Cooperlicious, thank you so much for your support. For you, we're going to put out, I think it's the, a great idea to put out a super bowl, superb owl for you for today's big sports events. I love sports. Um, so what I was saying about this guy is I put little magnets in them so that they can attach to each other. So now the super bowl can sit on a top Princess Buttercup. <laughs> That's pretty great. <laughs> Thank you for your support, Cooper. I super duper, Cooper Looper Duper appreciate it. Uh, Tammy, it is free for two days, but the PDF, you do need a membership account to download the PDF. If you hit start pattern, it'll scroll down the page and you can find it. Uh, you can find it right there. Uh, I can show you it too. Let me see. You know what? Here, let me, let me figure out how to do it on the Chrome screen or like on my, hold on. Slash. One sec. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll I'll give you all the the deets here. If I can if I can figure out how this thing works. There we go. Okay. Okay, so there's my there's my screen, right? Ooh, this is it. This is clubcrochet.com slash rose. And then if you scroll down right here and you hit start lesson, it'll take you right to it. There's a whole pattern. And then all these are all check marks too, so you can keep track of where you're, um, where you're at in the pattern. So that is how to get the pattern. If you want to download the PDF here at the top, you'll need a membership account. So you need a membership account to download the PDF. There is a left-handed video too, and I'm working on a Spanish translation uh, PDF. It'll be out in... Uh, probably not too long. I'm waiting on someone just like the translator to send it over. Um, but yes. Hope that helps. Let me know in the chat if you have any problems with that. Uh, but that should work for you. Just hit start pattern. It should scroll you down for you. You'll need a membership to download though. Okay. Let's keep going because we got a lot of these pedals to make. Ooh. All right, two, skip to my loo. All right, coming to the end of our first one. Let's see, do I do, I think I just do, 
One, two. And then one, two, three. Got it. And then we slip stitch. The basic account is uh, not a membership. That is That gets you free access to all the free patterns on the site. Um, there are a lot of free patterns on the site though, but you need a membership account to download most of the PDFs. Not all of them, but most of them. Okay. No, no, the pat, did, did you not see? You just had to hit start pattern. All right, one more time. This is for Wally Sosa. You go to the clubcrochet.com slash roses. Here, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll even open it. Oh, wait, no, I can't open it. No, not. I can, I'll log out. And I'll go back to it. Slash rose. Okay, so I'm not logged in at all. You can't download the PDF because you need a membership. But if you hit start lesson, it'll just scroll you down. And there's the written instructions. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me know. I, I think that that should work for you. Um, Aprond con flowers. Yes, I could totally use help, actually. Aprond. Aprande con flowers? I think I got that right. I could totally use some translation help. Uh, if anybody else wants to help with translation, uh, I could use some help for sure. I would like to start offering uh, translated PDFs. So I want to do um, Spanish language. Uh, uh, I'd like to do, I think French would be pretty cool maybe. Um, I mean, Japanese would be awesome, but I don't know how. I wouldn't even know where to advertise it either. But it would be really cool to have a bunch of different languages on the website. Oh, Arts and Crafts has a math test. That's all right. Well, good luck on your math test. Marta can do Italian? Grazie! Okay, Anna. <laughs> I'll call you Anna. Okay, so everybody, you guys said your week's been all right. For most most people here, said their week's been all right. Oh, Jamie just got. This is her first month. Jamie, thank you so much for being a Club Crochet member. Um. And this is the first box you've received. Wow. Well, I really hope you like it. I'm super duper excited about next month's box because we're doing that. Um the reversible one and then i've been planning out the months after so i think after that we're gonna do a special special new one like, you know what i'm gonna keep it a little bit of a surprise because yeah but the uh i don't want to i'm so bad at keeping secrets on these live streams i always spoil my secrets i just realized i think i might run out of rose or pink let me look Is this a similar pink? Does this count? Yeah, this will work too. Okay, we'll have enough. I was worried, but we should have enough. If we need to, maybe we'll do some like light pink ones also to mix in with the dark pink petals. But I think it'll be fine. As long as I can get all the petals made, I can get the um I can get the rose made. Cause the cause the center of the rose takes like barely any yarn it's mostly in the petals ah thanks jamie i like my ideas too yeah what sarah said you don't have to crochet the rose you can make whatever you want just come hang out and crochet if you want some like last minute gift ideas uh, i should have said something about this in like the email or whatever um but 
I have a section on the site called quick stitch patterns that are all patterns that can be made in like 30 minutes or less. And they're specifically for, for things like this. Like you're like, oh my gosh, it's Valentine's Day tomorrow and I don't I didn't get my significant other anything at all. So I have like a special place on the website just for that. Hello, Jim over the phone. Rebecca. You're funny. Jimothy. Uh, I don't think saving it will keep it free. I think, uh, I think it, yeah, I don't think that'll work. You can try, though. Have I made tulips? No, I haven't made tulips, but those are one of my favorite flowers. My, really, my favorite flower is the, uh, dragon snap? I think that's what it's called. S dragon snapper? Snapdragon? Snapdragon, I think. It, I really like it because it, it's like a little puppet. You can take the top of the flower off and you can like squeeze the sides and it goes ah, rah, rah. and uh, I just think it's really cool. I like puppets. <laughs> it's a funny reason I like a flower, but that's my favorite flower. Roberta, Roberta says she's unsubscribing because she didn't get the rose for free, even though it is free. Uh, all right. Sorry. Oops. There we go. I can't come out with all my patterns for totally free. You can just use the pattern without paying. Yeah. That's okay. Hopefully, I hope you figure it out. I'm sorry that, uh, I'm sorry it wasn't what you're looking for, though. Let's see, do I, I can't tell. Where am I at in this pattern? Oh, I'm at the part where this should have been a slip stitch. Wally, uh, email me. Uh, if you are interested in helping me translate stuff, just email me at louis at clubcrochet.com. Um, I would prefer you know how to like edit PDFs a little bit, but I can show you how to, how to like edit it in, well, it depends what kind of program, program you have, but the idea is to edit, help edit PDFs in that different language, so. Yeah, Tomahawk. Tomahawk. Um, Tomahawk says, Hello, I tried to crochet a mini heart for my first time, but it's too hard for me to pull a loop through two to three loops. I've tried so many times and I've given up. Can you please advise me? Absolutely. Um, and then I'll get to Elena's question after that. Toma, okay, so the first thing that I should tell you when you go for this rose one is I didn't in that rose video I didn't show you the best way to do the magic loop it was before I I was uh, accustomed to the best magic loop ever that makes life way easier so the first thing I'm gonna tell you is learn how to do this easier magic loop method you can find it um, a video where I teach you how to in more detail at clubcrochet.com slash magic loop but I'll also show you how to do it right now and then I'll show you how to do those multiple loop things um, so the first thing is the easy magic loop you hold it down with your middle and thumb finger with the yarn pointed down towards the ground and then you take the end of the yarn and you go over your index finger and your middle finger simultaneously like this one two and then you go over it again but you make an X on the front. So you, so you make an X right there, and then you go back around the back and you make it so there's two parallel lines in the back and an X on the front. Okay, then you take this end and put it between your ring and pinky finger, and you can do the same thing with this other end right here. If you just put it in between those, and then close these fingers in, and it'll hold everything into place a little bit better. Then you want to 
turn your hand backwards so that the two parallel lines are facing you and take your crochet hook, go under this first bar and go over the second bar, pull that second one under the first one and then flip it under like that to make a loop. See how it's got a little loop there? And then you go over that first bar, grab that second one, loop it over the crochet hook, we're almost done. And then you wanna take that and pull it through the loop that you just made. And this is, this is, I think, really the question you're asking is how do you get this through multiple loops? Scoop. That is the, that is the tip I have. You want to scoop. You want to like really tilt it down like that and scoop it under. And it helps you get through those chains. Now I'll show you how to do those with single crochets in just a second because I'm about to do it. Um, but that is the easiest magic loop. Again, clubcrochet.com slash magic loop. I have a whole video that explains it in like a lot of detail it actually explains a few different ones so that'll help a lot um and then to do single crochets you go into the stitch in this case we're going into the very center of this hole you pull a loop through and then you go over yarn over with the end attached to the ball and then this is the tough question for you is how do you pull it through these two multiple loops at the same time don't just like pull it like that because you could hook onto the wrong stuff. Do the scoop. Um, let me let me just do this real quick. Zoom in. Get you focused. Really show you that scoop. Boom. See, I'm scooping it through them. That is how to get it through those stitches way easier. Boom and scoop. That's it. I hope that helps you. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions there. There we go. See you later, Jim. Um, oh, Lauren. Heck yes, I can do an ostrich pattern. That sounds awesome. Oh, an ostrich burb? Why haven't I made an ostrich burb? That just seems silly. Uh, da da da. <laughs> Elena needs to choose between her frog or a snake to be her Valentine's. Oh, that's a tough, that's a tough question. May, mm, I think a frog. A frog seems like a better Valentine's than a snake. A snake seems like it's going to two-time you. You never know, you know? You never know, you know. All right, but Big Turtle Nerd is in the chat. I love that name. <laughs> I'm a big turtle nerd. I used to have a turtle when I was a kid. Uh, I actually had a dream about my turtle last night. Like, I, when I woke up, I was like, wow, I haven't thought about that turtle in a long time. Uh, her name, well, his name was Speedy. I always thought it was a girl until I woke up in the middle of the night to it having a relationship with a rock uh, that was in her enclosure. So it was actually a boy. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was a great, it was a great, it was a great turtle. But I think the most, the nightmare that I have the most often is forgetting to feed the turtle in my nightmare. Like, Oh no, I forgot to feed my turtle. That's that's one of my biggest nightmares. That and my teeth falling out. <laughs> but yes, an ostrich burb, 100%. What are we doing in March? Uh, in March, we are going to be doing uh, a reversible frog. And then we're also going to be releasing the bonhomal pattern. So I'm doing a bunch of these. You can see... Uh, uh, Princess Bu Buttercup right here under here's our frog Bonhamel. Um Every one of them has a a w in the name, so this is a pig lout. <laughs> it's really dumb. It's a dumb thing that I've just been addicted with making them. Uh, I have a bunch of them. There's little frogs, frogs, and um, there are mouses, mices, and let's see. There are dogs, pogs, pogs are pugs, but with an A-W. 
So those are coming out in uh, in March, as well as the reversible, big reversible boy. I'm very excited. I I think yeah we'll have a, we should have enough yarn. I think I'm gonna be pushing it on this hot pink yarn though. I'm gonna have to go buy some more. Which oh no I'm gonna have to buy more yarn. Whatever will I do? <laughs> I buy too much yarn. What are we doing in April? Oh Abby Abby wants to know all of it. All right in April. We're doing something secret. I am going to keep a secret for the start of April because we have something big planned. Well, biggish planned. Something planned that I think is going to be a lot of fun in the beginning of April. But then later in April, we're doing uh, our Earth Day. Wait, how do we say it? It's our um, crochet for Earth Day is going to be. Uh, starting on April 22nd and if you've been a fan of this channel for a while you've known uh, we did one last year and we did one the year before basically for crochet for Earth Day me and other Amy Groomy artists get together and crochet we each make a pattern for a different endangered creature and we put the patterns up online they're free but if you want the PDF you have to donate to download them so you donate to the World Wildlife Fund, and I have like a little button on the website. So you donate to the World Wildlife Fund however much you can, and then you get the PDF for one of the patterns. And this year, I'm really, really excited because we're doing, uh, we have the most collaborators so far. So um, Sir Pearl Gray is doing a pattern with us, uh, um, Lemon Yarn Creations. Those, they both did a pattern with us last year. They did the Rhino and the... Um, red panda rhino and the red panda last year um and last year i did the sloth here's my sloth he's a little he's a little sloth and he he's got magnets on in his hands so he can attach to anything he's very cute and i love him um so this is my one last year and these ones are still donate to download so they're forever donate to download so if you want to get this pattern you can just uh, donate to the world wildlife fund and you get the pattern for free or not for free, but yeah. So it's our way to like help support the um, wildlife that we all love, but also crochet some cool things. Uh, and then this year's pattern I am currently working on. Um, I might change it up, but I'm, I'm working on an orangutan right now. That's gonna be my pattern. Uh, and then Sir Pearl Gray is part of it, Drew, uh, Drewby Zoo, who did that strawberry that I was just showing you. Um, where did I put it? Oh, here. This one, the pattern that's coming out on Friday. He's doing a pattern for the uh, the Earth Day crochet. And I love his pattern. He showed me it already. He's already been done with it. And it is so good. I'm like really, really excited about his. And then um, Ohana Craft. Uh, is doing a pattern with us too and she's making something really cool too honestly everybody's making something like next level cool I'm so so excited okay so Sasha or Shasha uh, you are currently crocheting uh, are you currently crocheting this rose Let me know, Shasha. I'd love to help out. Um, they said that they are following the written instructions but can't do row three. Um, if you're talking about this rose, I'll be on row three in... Uh, well, I'm on row two right now. So I'll be on row three in just a second to help out. One, two, and then we got to do this one here. I donate that. Me too, Tammy. I don't. That's definitely the most that I donate. Yes, you're talking about this rose. Perfect. Okay, Shasha. One second. I am just about done with row two. And then I can help you out. So row three is not too crazy um, for these petals. Uh, it is 
just a repeat. And I think that is the end of that round. Yeah, okay, so um, for round three, you're going to single crochet three times, and then when you get to these corner spaces, you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, and then another single crochet into each of the corners, and then we're gonna repeat all the way around. The hard part is finding where the first and the first stitches are. So let me just zoom in and I'll go through this round with you here. Boom. So this is the hardest part is the first stitch because it's kind of like hidden under this one. So you can kind of see it right there. See that? Those two stitches right there. That's where we're going to work into. Now this pattern's worked in a spiral. So we never turn around. We just keep going in a circle and we're basically making little triangles. And so what you want to do is work into the next stitch under this one right here. And that's going to be our first single crochet. And we want three of them. So there's one two and then three and then when you get to these corner parts see how it's like there's like this big extra space here we're gonna work a single crochet and then two chains and then another single crochet into that same spot so you just go into the very bottom right here there's like a big hole like that and after this stitch is gonna be the difficult part so there's my single crochet I chain two I'll work another single crochet into the same space like that. And then this is the hard part is that's the end of the repeat. We want to repeat that same process three times in a row. But the second repeat is kind of tough because the first stitch is right under where that stitch is. See, it's like right there. So it's kind of hard to see it. You can see, see all this little bars right there, right? Um, see this? See how this is where our stitch is and this is where our next stitch is going. So it's separated by one little strand of yarn. So it's really hard to get that first stitch. But then once you get that first one, it's the same repeat. So it's just three single crochets. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, is it? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You do one single crochet and then it's a repeat. So that's the last part of the repeat. You do three single crochets, that double single crochet with the chain two in the middle in that space and then you do a single crochet and then you do that repeat and that last single crochet is the tricky part okay i hope that helps and then i'll just keep repeating that over and over so there's one two three and then i'm in the corner where we do the two one chain two and then another one into the same spot and then our last single crochet with that one little bar separating it right there and there's our second repeat. Okay, I hope that helps, Shasha. Let me know. Let me know if you have uh, any other questions. I am here to help. Okay. This is gonna be, we're halfway through the petals already, so that's going pretty good. Uh, I think I'm gonna ditch this beanie in a second because it is getting toasty up in here. Da, 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 da. Tammy, oh, I love that question, Tammy. Thank you for your, uh, thank you for your questions. You are doing great. Okay, so you, Tammy's question is, um, I don't know if you've answered this in your live streams. I'm new to your channel, but how do you come up with all these designs? Like, is it a process of trial and error to get something that works? Uh, that's a really good question. So I come up with a lot of crochet patterns. Uh, I pretty much just like, I do have a definitely a process of how I come up with patterns in the sense that like, sometimes I'm like, oh, you know what would be cool is to make this. Like, for example, I'm doing an orangutan. And I was like, okay, you know what would be cool? To make an orangutan for Earth Day Crochet. Okay, how am I gonna do that? now? Depending on the pattern, this is where the process changes. So if it's a big pattern, like the orangutans are pretty going to be a pretty massive pattern, just in the sense that it's going to be like multiple pieces that are sewn together. There's going to be um, four limbs that are sewn together and then the body. And then I might sew on a face too. So because there's a lot of different pieces going into one thing, I'm probably going to I, I drew it first, not probably, I did draw it. One, two, one, two, three, and then slip stitch. I'll show you my drawing. Um, let me go grab that for you, because I think that's kind of interesting. 
it's not very good. Like it's literally, I was doing laundry at, at a laundromat yesterday and drew it up. And so it's not a good drawing. It's just like really just a, I dropped something. Oh, my wire, I'm gonna need that. Okay, let me grab that drawing for you, one second. Okay, so this is my little, this is just a little notebook that I have that I draw little drawings for. Um, here you can see, we did a Rocket live stream last year. These are my drawings for them. We ended up choosing this one and I crocheted it. But my, these are my drawings right now for the, um, the orangutan. You can see they're just like really, really basic. Um, uh, I just wanna get the idea of how it's gonna look. So this is gonna be my, the, there's gonna be four part or five parts we got our main body here's the arms legs and then uh maybe a face that's sewn on i don't know how i'm gonna do the face right now but by drawing this i got a really good idea of how it's gonna be put together because i'm gonna go from the top to the bottom because that's how i like to crochet usually is going from the top to the bottom so now i know okay at the very top i'm gonna have to do color changes right here for the face and then this body is just gonna it's basically gonna be like a like a um like a pear is the the shape i'm looking for so i'm gonna basically do like a little pear do some increases up for a body really really fuzzy yarn for the orange and then for the arms uh it's gonna go the other way around so i'm gonna start here and work my way in like that and uh it's gonna start with the brown and then it's gonna turn into orange and then i'm gonna do something similar with the legs so this is actually not that complicated of a pattern, but it's complicated enough where I wanted to draw it. Let me see if I have any other good drawings here. Um, oh, here's here's a pretty good one. This is a Pikmin that I did. Uh, I think the Pikmin is in here. Yeah, this is the final product for my Pikmin. Oopsies, that was a lot of effort. Um, so you can see like, I was like, okay, I want the head. I wanted the head to be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. And that's how I did the eyes right there. And then you can see I had this little shaping and then the flower I figured out later. Um, but the arms, I wanted to be really simple and small. Yeah, so that's the first process is you start with the drawing, if, especially if it's gonna be more of like a, a tricky pattern to make. Dude, 9,000 followers on Instagram, that's awesome. Dude, thank you, everybody. Whoever's, whoever has subscribed or followed on Instagram, thank you for doing that. Um, that's really cool. But after I get a good drawing that I like, uh, that's when I start just like crocheting the pieces over and over. And if you've followed these live streams before, you'll know what I always say when I say design your own things is make it a bunch. So. When I design something, usually I make that pattern like five or six times before I'm ready to release it. And that's like minimum. If it's a smaller pattern, like like these ones, these little Bonhamel guys, here's a frog version. These frogs and stuff, I've made like 40 or 50 of these because I need to, um, I need to make sure it works. I need to like, there. there's these little itty tiny, itty tiny? <laughs> yeah. There's these little tiny uh, changes that I make to these patterns just to make them that subtly better. And every single time I make the pattern, I make it just a little bit easier, a little bit better than I did the time before. And so when I'm making patterns, I very much suggest make it over and over because eventually you're going to release the pattern and then you're going to make it again and you're going to realize dang i wish i did this i wish i did this to the pattern and so to to try to limit that feeling as much as you can make it a lot before you're ready to release the pattern so that is my uh that is my suggestions anna i just got your email thank you for emailing me i will get back to you after this um after this stream how is Jules? Jules is doing great. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking, Kelly. I appreciate that.
Yes, the frog. Those are my favorite. I love them. I'm really, really, really excited to release them. What I really like about these little ones is that for the most part, they're like a no sew pattern. So they're really, really. Uh oh, uh oh. Hold on. Stream disconnected. Can you hear me? Why does it keep doing this? Uh oh. We're back? Can you see me? Okay, if you can if you can hear or see me, comment with a, an emoji of a strawberry. That way I'll know that you guys can see me. Because yeah, it's my internet. My internet's been really bad. Really laggy. It's this I I get I we got this like new router and it's really really bad. Thank you. I see the strawberries now. Thank you. Thank you guys. And I, seriously, I'm so sorry about the lag. Wow, so many strawberries. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you guys are great. All right, so we're on our fifth rows. We need to make eight of these. Ugh. Eight petals. Oh, the Pikmin pattern. Yes, a uh, big turtle nerd. <laughs> I love your name. Uh, the Pikmin pattern is not out yet. I'm going to release it in spring. So it's probably in like April or May is when I'll release it because there's a flower and all that other fun stuff. Uh, but but it is on the rough draft on the website. So the rough draft pattern is on the website. Um, if you want to find the rough drafts, all you got to do is you go to the home page. Um, so let me just show you. Once you're logged in. So if you go to the home page of the site, uh, this is the new home page, but you, so you need to be logged in. So I'm going to log in first uh, with these loops. Yes, there's my face. Good job. Okay. Okay, so if you log in and you scroll down to this part where it says you might like this and you scroll to the left, you'll find one called Louis Drafts. If you click into that one, you can find my rough draft patterns. And if you scroll all the way down here, these are the patterns that are currently in rough draft mode. I haven't, fi they're not finished because I still need to make a PDF. I need to test the pattern. I need to make a video. There's just like a lot of process that goes into pattern making. So first I like to put it into these rough drafts to get feedback. So this is my Pikmin rough draft. Uh, you can see there's a lot of different Pikmin here and uh, all the the whole pattern is right there for you to do. So that is how you can get the rough draft patterns if you want to try that pigment pattern out early and give me your feedback. Um, you do need a membership account to access those, but a membership, you can get a free trial for a membership. So it's not really that big of a deal and you can just cancel the trial if you don't want to um, pay for the membership. Uh, but if you do want to pay for the membership, it's a great way to support this channel. It's a great way to support this channel. All right, one, two. Dude, Kelly, congratulations, thank you. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I definitely think uh, that in the future, remember when I was in the beginning talking about that pin idea? By the way, what did you guys think about that pin idea? Um, I didn't see in the chat what you guys said. Do you guys think uh, doing a pin, pin club is a good idea? I'm not sure or not, but what I was thinking about for that pin membership, so I'm thinking of adding something on the website. I'm, we're adding a new uh, like system that I'm not really ready to talk about too much yet because it's just not ready to release. But it's this really cool system that we're building on the website, and then uh, and then I want to come out with a bunch of like how to design your own amigurumi tutorials. And then so the idea would be if you get a $10 a month membership, it'll be called like the designer tier and it'll come with a monthly pin 
and a bunch of extra tutorials that teach you how to design amigurumi and maybe i'll do some like designer live streams i don't know i want to know what you guys opinion is there uh the main idea is the the like i think the main perk of the membership other than the design courses and uh the other thing that i'm not ready to talk about yet is the um is the pins so it'll be like a, a monthly pin membership where every every month you get a new pin that we make based on our patterns and or like crochet themed pins stuff like that and then yeah so it'll be it'll like it's going to be called the designer tier because there's like a a lot of stuff that I want to add to the website that's specifically made for like, here's how to not only design your own amigurumi, but like, here's how to here's how to make PDFs, here's how to uh, sell your patterns online, here's how to manage your Etsy store if you're gonna do Etsy, um, here's how to like, like even even like here's how to manage your taxes if you want to become a like you want to sell your patterns online or sell your things that you've made on the internet. So that's the t that's the like designer tier idea. Shasha, are the kits available for international? The kits are available internationally, but they're uh, you have to pay shipping if you're buying them internationally, and shipping can be a little pricey to certain places. So it really depends on the location, but yes, the answer is yes. Turn that volume up a little bit. How am I sounding? We can do a little bit more on the music, right? But the goal for the website eventually is I really want the website to be a community uh, submission. Like I want I want people to be able to like put their own patterns on Club Crochet eventually. I mean, there's a lot of things that I want to do before that, but that is like a huge goal for the website is to like let it let it be more of a like like find a pattern or like test patterns there and stuff like that. Right, Tammy? I mean, I've been doing it. I've been selling on, like, both my Amigurumi on on Etsy uh, and selling, like, my patterns and stuff online and building my website and everything for, like, 15 years now. So I think I've learned a few things that I definitely can teach. So I, th I think I could do it. I just... You know, obviously, I'm not ready to release that kind of stuff yet. I, I think the idea for this new membership level is going to be in 2022. So it gives me the whole year to, like, create all the tutorials that I need, create the new system on the website that I can't talk about yet, stuff like that. Okay, so I think we have one, two, three... Four, five. This will be six. We need two more petals. We're actually we're doing pretty good as far as like our time goes. It's not that bad. Oh, thank you for subscribing. Uh, let's see, who was it? Juliana. Juliana Medirios. Medirios. Oh, okay. Abby, what's your question? Oh, the birthday. Oh, oh, your birthday's on the 25th. That's right. My brother's birthday's one day before you, actually. Yeah, my brother's a day before you. The 24th. And then, yeah, so the idea is, like, the beginning of April is going to be Bonimals. So the kit, I think, is going to be these guys. You're going to make three different kinds. But I'm not 
I'm not 100% sure on like what the April kit's going to be just yet, but I know that the May kit is going to be uh, you choose your own endangered wildlife creature from the Earth Day crochet along, so you get to choose whatever our designers are making. All right, one, two, and then I do the three and then slip stitch. How much more yarn do we have this pink? Ooh, maybe enough for one more petal. Two, one, two, three. Dude, Malia, thank you. <laughs> You're making blush. Uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> Practice. Practice makes perfect. That's what I have to say about that. Um, coffee. Okay, so in uh, San Francisco, we uh, got rid of plastic straws. Which, I mean, okay, great. Plastic, get rid of plastic straws. Bad for the environment. That's fine. But the problem is these paper straws are the worst things in the world. They suck. You can't even get through a whole drink before the paper straw has, like, dissolved into the drink. It's such a bummer. Yeah, Lauren, I did. This beanie? What did I do? I just threw it. I did. I made this beanie. Uh, this was last week's live stream crochet along. I made it. I made it last week on the live crochet along. I didn't finish it in the live crochet along. It still has to make the brim. So I made the brim that night. I watched. Um, I can't remember what I watched. Some movie. Bobby, welcome. I have. I have been making a lot of these roses for Jules. <laughs> Jim is out of yarn. That is an emergency. You can't run out of yarn. It's impossible. All right, let's hope we can finish up at least one more of these petals with this yarn. And then I uh, have another tinier ball of it that we can use. But I'm gonna need to buy more of this for sure. Yeah, I agree. Styrofoam is garbage. Yep, I totally agree with you, Kelly. 100%. Everything you just said is totally right. Um, straws, I, th I mean, like, good, get rid of straws, I guess. But I don't think that's the main thing that we should be focusing on. I think, yeah, styrofoam would be a great one to get rid of because you can't even recycle styrofoam in most cases. They do, they have like started to find, I think it's a fungus or a, or like a mealworm, some kind of worm that eats styrofoam, but like, it's, it's a really, it's really bad for the environment and everything has styrofoam in it. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I need to just get a middle straw and just deal with it. Because it's not like plastic straws are coming back to San Francisco. So. Yeah. Yeah. Or the plastic things that hold metal cans together. Oh, yeah. Um, like the, uh, uh, like... Oh, what are they called? They don't, I mean, they don't really make those anymore though, right? The, the, like, the things that, like, seagulls would get trapped around their neck and stuff. What are those things called? Rubber straws. Yeah, I like the rubber straws that you can, like, open up to clean. That's my only thing is it's hard to clean straws. But there's the ones, there's like boba straws that like can be like opened. Those are pretty cool.
It's a pity we can't crochet a straw. I mean, you can crochet a straw. It just probably won't work. <laughs> oh, they use them in Florida. Yeah. I do, I do have to say, that's like one of the things I do like about uh, living in California is they are definitely more environmentally conscious here than than in most governments uh, most states which I do really like that that is I think I think that's the thing I care about most is the environment and hence why we're doing the Earth Day crochet along but those straws we need to figure that out why don't they just use like why don't they just use, like, pasta? <laughs> Did anybody watch the, um, the Boba Fett show on Disney Plus? I just finished that this week. It was okay. It was good to see, uh, you get to see Grogu again, which was nice. We did it. Oh my gosh, we almost have enough for another rose, or another petal too. But I'm going to switch over to our other yarn for this last petal because I don't want to be halfway through a petal and then run out of yarn. So we're going to put all these petals here. Um, if you guys haven't yet, go submit to the giveaway. Uh, as I find my other ball of yarn that I brought out, and I was like, look, I have another. Oh, it's right here. Doi. Um, go enter the giveaway. You can find a link to the in the description. All you have to do is comment on my, um, my last post on Instagram with... Uh, by tagging a uh, whoever your Valentine is, and I'm giving away a free month long membership to club crochet so that's it and if you get a month long membership to club crochet that means you have all of my patterns so it's a pretty good giveaway i think you know what you're totally right tammy moldy straws do not sound fun you'd have to like figure out how to really keep it keep it dry Nine thousand followers that's awesome that is dope. Yeah, there's only 14 people have entered the giveaway so far. So you guys have some time. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Lauren doesn't have an Instagram account. Well, I get that. I get that. I Wait till next giveaway. Hope this video gets 350 likes. That's what we're game aiming for today. Oh my gosh. We're almost at 350. Like... This is definitely, guys, 272 likes already. I don't think we've had a live stream that's had so many likes so fast. If you, uh, yeah, if this video gets to 350, we'll do another one, another giveaway next live stream, and I'll make sure that you can enter it, Lauren. That's what's important. <laughs> I think we'll do a, uh, we'll do it on YouTube itself. I just need to think it through a little bit more. I didn't think I was going to do a, lot, a giveaway today because last live stream I was like, if this video gets 300 likes, we'll do a giveaway. And then like last night it wasn't at 300 and then this morning it was like 295 or something. And I was like, that's ah, close enough. That's close enough. Honestly, you shouldn't have an Instagram if you're, if you're too young. Uh, Instagram is not great for people's brains. <laughs> it's bad for brains. Instagram. Bad for brains. Okay, this is our last petal. 
to the metal. One. There we go. And then we can start working on the actual rose part. The most part of this rose is just like the stem. It just takes forever to make the stem. But once you get going, it's pretty good. By the way, if you want to, I don't know if uh, how many people in this chat do sell their things on Etsy, sell what they make and stuff. But if you want to, you are you are totally allowed to sell something that you make using one of my patterns uh, on Etsy if you want to. All you need to do is make sure that in the description of the video it says pattern by club uh, but yeah if you want to you totally can so sell, sell my stuff on Etsy uh, someone emailed me about that yesterday so it was just came to mind anybody else excited for the Kirby new Kirby game or the new Mario Kart things. I feel like I feel like I'm I'm like the main. <laughs> I don't know how many people in the chat are like really into Nintendo video games, like I am. But I'm very excited about the new Mario Strikers game and the new Mario Kart racetracks that just got announced. And I've just been like nerding out about them like all week. <laughs> I've been like. I can't wait to play Mario Strikers. If you don't know, Mario Strikers is a is a Mario game where you play soccer, and it's not like really soccer. It's like it's like you know Mario version of soccer. Like there's items and you can tackle and like it's very cartoony and easy to play. And I'm so excited about that. Let's see, one, two, one, two, three. And then we slip stitch. This is our last petal. There we go. What are you doing with my scissors? Did I drop them? No. They're on the, they're on the camera, you goofer. Yeah, goofer. Yes, it's epic soccer. Exactly, Shasha. Okay, so next up, we're gonna be making our, um, like the, oh, actually next we gotta make the leaf and then we can get to the actual rose part. So we need our green yarn here. Look at poor, look at our poor little guys here. They need friends, guys. <laughs> oh, what a dorky, dorky laugh I just did. A laugh and then a hiccup. Okay. I got I got yarn attached to my feet. Look at this is all the pink that I have left from the um the main pink. I'm gonna use it I'm gonna use this to make a frog later. Okay. Yeah, um, Sasha, Sasha, uh, so Sasha said, I'm going to use chopstick for the stand of the rose instead of wire. Is that okay? I know it won't bend though. Chopstick might work. You might have a problem because the, the stem is, um, like the, the, it might be too small of a hole for you to fit the, uh, the chopstick in, but what might work better if you can't find a chopstick is uh, a skewer. So like, um, I just had one. Where did I put it? I was using it yesterday. I was trying to make like a puppet thing. Oh, here it is. Oh wait. No, that's not, that's not what we're going for. Where is it? Well, basically like this, but with a pointy end, like you find them, like your mom might have one in the, uh, like, at least my parents always had them. Oh, here, it fell down. Like this. This might work really well because the pointy end will help you, like, get up the uh, the stem. 
but they are a little fragile so you might end up breaking it but you know if it breaks it's it's not that big of a deal um but this might work also uh but wire definitely is the best way to do it if you have wire uh, okay so now i'm making a leaf a leaf let's see how do i make leaves like this no see i did it all wrong i want it like this yeah, there you go. Yeah, sure, you can, yeah. Oh, kebab stick would work also, though. Dude, Seth, thank you. I'm going to be re-releasing that Kirby. I was thinking about that Kirby pattern literally yesterday. I haven't thought about it for a long time. It's not on Club Crochet. It's only on Louis Loop. So that means you are an OG. You've been around for a while, my dude. You rock, Seth. Thank you for being around. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be re-releasing that Kirby pattern very soon. Uh, if, you if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a Kirby pattern coming out soon. That's going to be awesome. Uh, we're going to be celebrating Kirby's, I think it's his 30th birthday? Their 30th birthday? Three, four... Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Back loop only the chains. Crochet two. Okay. Um. But yes, I'm very excited about that. I'm also going to be trying to release a uh, re-release a Pokeball. I I made a Pokeball a long time ago, so I'm going to try to redo that pokeball a little bit better uh someone actually asked earlier uh if you did if you're the one that asked earlier let me know in the comments uh if i had pokemon patterns and i do i have uh i have all the starters so i have a little itty bitty they're like this big versions of charmander bulbasaur and squirtle and then uh and an eevee i don't have a pikachu yet i don't know why i never did a pikachu uh and i think i probably should like redesign the patterns a little bit so i might end up messing with some redesigns soon i don't know but yes i do have patterns for them and then a triple i should make bonimals of Pokemon that would be super smart I should just do that I don't know why I'm even saying just do it oh thanks Elena I like my Woggle videos too Woggles are the best I gotta I gotta do more work with Woggles later everybody asks for a pattern for them I'm always like they're living creatures I don't have a crochet pattern for them. They're not crocheted. <laughs> uh, okay. Keep that there. Patty the platypus. I could probably do a Perry the platypus. Ooh, a Vulpix. Oh my god, these as a Vulpix would be so good. Have you seen this one? I showed you last live stream. Where's the other one? There's two... up here ah oh, dropped so many crochet things oopses well this is this is what i want to show you it's a little fox a fox not a fox it's a fox boop boop look at this watch watch this stack i've been i've been making a bunch of these Watch this stack. I gotta do it in the perfect way. But they each have magnets, so you can stack them. So you gotta do it right. But I think that the right method is you gotta go. I think it's that one next. Because the pug is like really, has a really strong magnet in it for some reason. They're all the same magnets, but for some reason, pugs is like really well put in there. And then, and then the mouse, because the mouse is a really flat head. And then I could, I think we can do this other mouse on top of that one. 
The ears, I think, help you keep it in place. And then you can do a frog. But maybe if we turn the frog around. Oh. And then we got another frog. So we got six. I'm amazing. I can try to get the pug on top of it. Hold on. I mean the, the fox. But the fox doesn't have a magnet in it, so it might be tough. Hold on. First we need to just get it to balance. Oh, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. I can't do it. I can't do it. But these are, those are gonna be coming out very soon. All right, let's keep going. Sometimes you just need to take a break and stack a bunch of bon animals. Double. Coming out soon, Kelly very soon especially for members members will get it early <laughs> when oh what will next week's live stream be next week we're going to be doing uh that strawberry we're going to be making these this is next week's live stream Giant strawberries. Same time, same place. Can I can I juggle them really well? I have more of them. Here's another one. This was the original. We made changes to make it more strawberry-ish, but I got three strawberries. One, two, three. Nope. 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 Not gonna work. It's just not gonna work, alright? Bum 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 Yeah, I don't have any homework either because I didn't, I finished school. <laughs> it's funny, you guys are talking about homework. I remember the last day of school, last day I had college, and I was like, I never got to do homework again. I never got to do any homework again. Uh, uh, never got to do it. I remember my very last math class I took in the beginning of college. So I was like, I never want to do math again. I'm going to do my first, my last math class right in the very beginning of college so that I never have to do it again. And it was a great move because I finished it and I was like, no more math. I'm good at math. I just don't like it. I don't know. There's something about math that is just, no, I mean, who likes math? No one likes math. Right? Well, some people actually, I take that back. Some people really, really like math, and it's like, dude, relax. It's math. <laughs> I'm gonna redo this. Let's try this again. <laughs> Two pedals on! Shasha! That's true. It can be fascinating. Especially when, like, everything works out and you're like, whoa, it all makes sense. I guess it always makes sense. That's kind of the point of math, isn't it?
I like science a lot. I like biology. That's probably my favorite. Uh, I studied anthropology, though. Which, if you're not aware, anthropology is the study of people. And I really liked anthropology as a major. That was a really good major for college. Do I have any pets? Yes, we got Jimbo. The great and amazing Jimbo. I'll tell you what, if you remind me by the end of the live stream that to say hi to Jimbo, uh, I'll bring him in to say hello. He's a bit of a he's a bit of a much though. But we got Jimbo, my kitty cat, uh, and then we got Phoebe, my other cat. And they are the cutest things in the entire world, and I love them so much. Wow, we hit 300 likes. 50 more likes for another giveaway. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. What are we doing here? Oh, we're on the center of the rose. We're on the center of the rose. Social studies is fun. Two, three. Yoshi. One. All right, we're cruising, we're cruising. Maybe we finish this road up quick enough. We can do a little miniature heart. We will see. We need a cat pattern. I agree. I need to make cat patterns. Let's start a petition. <laughs> Kelly. Kelly says, just to start a conversation, all the teens or kids here, like me, what do you guys want to do with your life? It's a great question, guys. What do you want to do with your life? I would say, uh, if if you're out there as a, as advice from someone that once upon a time was a teen or a kid, uh, and if I was asked this question now, but I went back, you know what I mean. I'd say, uh, don't make any plans. <laughs> don't go with the flow. If you are a kid or a teenager, go with the flow and enjoy being a kid and enjoy enjoy enjoying things. Enjoy just like figuring yourself out, figuring your life out, and be you. Just do you and and act natural, and life will be better that way. I think that's the best. Big Turtle says, "Be a baker slash crocheter." Absolutely, you should do that though. A veterinarian, a reptile veterinarian. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> when I was a kid, I wanted to be, let's see, what did I want to do when I was a teenager? Play video games. That's pretty much all I wanted to do. So pretty much nothing's changed. I still just want to play video games. When I was in high school, I really wanted to crochet for a living. And look at that. That all worked out. When I was in... But, but yeah, when I was younger, I didn't know. Honestly, I didn't know until I found crocheting. I think once you find that thing that you're, like, super duper into, like crocheting for some people, um, or, like, being, like, a veterinarian, whatever, stuff like that, once you find those things that you just get, like, oh, my gosh, that's the coolest thing in the world, uh... Everything kind of changes, you know, your whole motivations of what you want to do with every day of your life change when you find the thing that you really love more than anything else. Sometimes that's a person. Sometimes that's a, that's a, I don't know. 
Sometimes, sometimes that's something that you really should, probably shouldn't love so much, like food. <laughs> sometimes you just love food and you just love it too much, and you got to be careful. Really, whatever you love, too much of anything, anything, is a uh, can be dangerous. Even crochet could hurt your could hurt your wrist. When I was in high school, I crocheted so much that I got carpal tunnel, and it sucked. But then I fixed it. It wasn't a big deal, but still. All right, this is the hardest part of the pattern, so I'm gonna need to focus a little bit here because you get to make like we changed to this green, and then I got a so it's just there's just. There's just stuff you got to do here, so be patient with me here. Okay. Zip switch one. We're going to cut this yarn. And one. Double crochet one. Mini peacot. Once I get going here, I think I'll be good. But the start of this is kind of hard to remember. Half double crochet. <laughs> okay. There we go. Important life left lesson stream. That's right, Treetop. Here's a life lesson for you. Too much milk at one time is dangerous and will make you have to go to the bathroom a lot. <laughs> Don't kick dogs. That is a good life lesson. I will. I don't know from experience, but it just seems really mean. And don't do it. We got them. We got them. These little leaves starting to grow. Life lessons. Don't kick dogs. Life lessons. <laughs> too much candy is not good, but too little candy is also not good. You need to have candy or else. Life lessons. <laughs> yeah, I think this is. I think this is Super Mario Brother. Uh, 3D world, maybe? I remember this is the one where they dance. Like, whenever it does, ah. like, the, like the, all the enemies will do like a little jump. Ah. All right, one more of these little leafies. That's a good life lesson. Elena, good life lesson. Don't not crochet. So do, do crochet. Yes, 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 I'm a genius. All right. See how that's kind of really crazy and weird? All right, next is this weirdo thingy. That one's going in too. This 
part's crazy weird. One stitch at a time. Okay. This part's weird because I gotta stuff these little tail ends in here so I can see the stitches that I need to work into. Another good use for a skewer. Easy stuffings. One. Two. Three. Ah. Four. One more. Bye, Abby. Thanks for joining. See you next live stream. Next Sunday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Sasha's halfway there. Living on a prayer. I'm done with this straw. It's a bad, it's a bad straw. Do I use worsted weight yarn for all my projects? It is my favorite size yarn to use. Yes, uh, Tammy. Um, I use it for most of my projects. It's just my favorite. It's a good size, especially for amigurumi. Um, yeah. I want to start using chunky yarn more often because I think it'd be fun to make like really big things using my little tiny patterns, but... Uh, usually I use worsted weight yarn. That's what I have most of, anyhow. Uh, specifically cotton. I really like using worsted weight cotton yarn um, for a bunch of reasons. Uh, I, it's relatively cheap. The, uh, there's a lot of different colors. It's a plant-based fiber, so you're not using... Uh, it's not made out of plastic. It's not made out of animals. Uh... Yeah, it's moldable. I think that's probably the biggest one is this moldable. Um, okay, so next up is we're sewing all of the petals onto this little rose center. See, so there's the rose center. Do -do -do -do. And then all the petals get sewn onto it. So let's just start doing that. Um, I think what we do... We'll go... Both of these. one time no no inside one first that's what it is so we're gonna go inside first in out through the center like that and then I take this other one and you're gonna see how we add petals. It's really easy, actually. You just go into like the, the seam here of the rows. Let me just get a little bit better focus. And then you go in through one side and then out through the next stitch like that. And then you pull it tightish and then you go around this stitch and then you go back down through where you came out. And you come out through the bottom, and you double knot. And that's it. That's how you add the rose petals. Really easy. At least it's supposed to be. See? Doo -doo -doo. One petal done. Just need eight of these. It gets more and more difficult as you go get further and further along, but it's really not that bad, I think. Uh, and then another useful way to use a skewer, stuff the little ends back into the ball, like this, or into the, into the center. 
Ba -ba -da -ba, one rose petal. Two rose petals. Bye, Lauren. Thanks for joining. Wow, we got 91 people watching right now. Hello, everybody who is in the live stream. Uh, if you haven't entered the giveaway yet, make sure to check that out. It's in the description. You just got to comment on my latest Instagram post. Really easy. It's an easy giveaway. Easy giveaway is easy. Oopsies. Ooh! That cracking. Shasha, you got this. You got this. It's midnight there, but you are determined and you do this. You can make a rose just in time for Valentine's Day. Think about how much the person that you're going to give this rose to is going to love you. They're going to be like, oh my god, you crocheted this? And you're going to be like, that's right, I stayed up till like 2 a.m. to make it just for you. And they're going to be like, you're the best. They're going to be like, oh, j'adore. Oh, mon ami. Oh. Shut the door. Oui. There we go. Cut. Two, two roses. Ah, ah, ah. Two petals. For the third one, I'm going across. I'm going to go across from this one to so like right here. Could I show the petals together in a line, then wrap it around? Can I? Can you sew the petals together in a line, then wrap it around the core? I mean, you could probably do that, Sarah. I haven't tried that, but it's probably something you could do. That seems realistic. Oh, dude, Omo, Omo, Mo, crochet says, just want to say thanks for taking the time to make a left-handed video tutorials as a new crocheter. It's super helpful. Thank you for appreciating it. Thank you for letting me know. Um, I am working on replacing all my patterns and, and making left-handed video tutorials for all of them. I'm sorry I didn't do it sooner. Honestly, uh, my dad is a lefty and he makes it very clear that left-handed video tutorials are very important. So... Um, I totally get it, uh, and I'm sorry that it wasn't sooner, honestly. They're not too difficult for me to do, also, like, yeah. I appreciate you appreciating it. Kelly's making pineapples! Ooh, pineapples would be a fun, giant pattern to do. I wonder if Drewbies could do that. Maybe using a puff stitch or something. I'll have to talk to him about that. Okay. Three petals. Ah, ah, ah. An avocado cow? What does that mean? But what? But what does it mean? Let's do one right here. Yes, I agree. We need pictures of this cow. <laughs> put it on. Yes, put it on Discord. Bella made the chunky bee on Discord. 
If you haven't checked out our Discord channel yet, uh, it's just, I think it's in the description of this video. Um, we have a Discord channel where you can share like things that you've made, uh, get extra help. So if you're like, shoot, I can't figure this part out. I don't know if that's how you talk or not, but uh, this one does not want to go through. There we go. You're being difficult. Why are you being so difficult with me, Petal? Valkyrie! Good night. Thanks for joining. I'm gonna go right here. around that bum, bum. Bum, bum. all right and this pedal look at these pedals they're coming together it's a rose almost uh, Olivia, you just subscribed? <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Hey, if you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Go subscribe. Yes, we do have a Discord. In the description of the video, you can find a link to it. I think you can also just go to clubcrochet.com slash Discord. That should work also. More petals. That is uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, four petals. Halfway there. Blah. Oh, oh. I don't know why I'm doing the count. But. We got that Discord. Alright. Now petal over here. One. Come out there. Like this. And then we do these, like these. One. There we go. I think this is like Banjo Kazooie or something. Doesn't this sound like Banjo Kazooie? Maybe like Donkey Kong. Happy Single Awareness Day to Valentine's Day. Yeah, I agree. I think Valentine's Day is probably my least favorite holiday of them all. But it's still a holiday, I guess. <laughs> I think the reason I don't like Valentine's Day as much is because it seems like it's... It really seems like it's built by a corporation, doesn't it? Like it seems like companies made Valentine's Day to sell things. And also, it's a bummer for, like, there's no other holiday that's that's actively, like, a bummer for <laughs> people. Maybe Christmas a little bit, but, like, you can be you can be solo and still enjoy Christmas. Valentine's Day? Yeah, it just kind of bumps people out. Even if you're in a relationship, sometimes you're like, is this supposed to be something bigger than it is? And, yeah, I get it. Lauren, can't find the draft slider. Are you signed into the website? That's that's going to be my first question. You need to be signed into the website to access the draft. So that is uh, number one. I want it to go here, but there's already one there. So it might be kind of difficult. Let's see. Maybe you get it in. Yeah, right there. Um, you can also find it by going to clubcrochet.com slash rough drafts. Uh, R-O-U-G-H. 
D R A F T S. I think that'll get you there too. There we are. There we are, yes, of course. Bobby! My dad is in the chat. Hello, dad. Bobby 4M Metalworks. That is my papa. Hey, dad. Welcome to the chat. What are you up to today? Making things out of metal? My dad's got a uh, metal shop in the backyard, and it is freaking awesome. Are you making anything cool Valentine's Day-wise? Making anything cool for mom? <laughs> Kelly just made a mustache by accident. And it's super cool. I love it. Uh, Daisy Kid. Thanks, dude. I like my music choice also. Video games all day, every day. At least music. You ever studied to this music? I feel like uh, it's the easiest mu music to work to. For me, at least. Two more petals. Just two more petals. That is it. Not very much more, I have to say this. I have to say this. We only have two more petals to sew on, and it is a. Uh, it is pretty good, if you're asking me. Look at this. Yes, I like a rose. I like this rose. It's coming together very well. Yes. This one I need to make more circle. Where? Where you put it? But uh, but yes, it's coming together. I think we need petal right here, and then maybe petal right here. So right here, right here. That is what we're going to aim for. We're going to open it up and to get a better aim for a petal. What are you talking about? I always talk it today. Oh, that's right. You did photo shoot in Beverly Hills. Very famous. A lot of famous people in Beverly Hills. <laughs> Six pedals. Two more to go, Shasha. Oh, you're more than halfway there. The Superb Owl? You're gonna watch the Superb Owl soon. That's why we got this owl out here. It's for the Superb Owl. There we are. There we are. Yeah, those are calls. Why do I like doing voices every time I do something? I don't know. Just do. Gosh. I'm not crazy. Why are you calling me crazy? What? <laughs> Beverly Hills. I like Beverly Hills. I should make a bouquet for your mother. I should just send her home a rose. I will. I, you know what? I shall even. I think I... Did I send her home one? I don't remember. It's my mom's birthday coming up. 17th? 17th? What day is the 17th? If today is the 13th, four days from now. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, Thursday is my mama's birthday. Which is great. And it's my aunt's birthday, too. What? I know. Her sister. What? Isn't that crazy? They have the same birthday. They're also twins. Just happens to be that way. I think it just worked out like that. Just It was just lucky, probably. <laughs> just want to make sure I can get into this next stitch before I... So on our last pedal, to the metal. Okay. 
Last pedal's going over. Well, I think over here, actually. That would be pretty good. I think we're going to go right there. It's going to be a hard one to get in there, though. Because there's just a lot of... A lot of stuff sewn on. But this looks like the emptiest spot. There we go. And then we need the inside pedal bit first. Hi. Hi, Lions. Hi, Iris. Hi, Lions again. <laughs> Yes, subscribe to the channel, like this video. If this video gets 350 likes, we're gonna do another giveaway the next live stream. What are we at? 326, only 25 more likes to get to 350 likes. That's crazy dudes. That's a crazy dudes. That's crazy. All right, last pedal. Go, 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 go. No, there, yeah. Yeah. Put that one in. Back in. Out through the very bottom. All right. Okay, guys. From here on out, it's crochet time. Well, until we gotta sew on the leaf. But after the leaf, or yeah. Okay. Okay. Now let's fix this pedal. Look at that, it's just like a mess. It's just a mess, we're gonna fix it. But that was the hardest part. See, and then we got we got a rose. And what I like to do is I like to pinch these little, the, the edges of each of the petals that are out. And then it becomes much more rosy, see? Oh. Now let's keep rock and rolling. Yes, the stem is so tiny, Elena. That this is definitely the hardest part. Is the uh, or that's why that's why the hardest part was this last couple rounds. Uh, but once you get going here on the stem, it gets a lot easier. It's just pretty much just single crochets from here on, though. Uh, but once you get a little bit further along, it gets a lot easier to to work your stitches. What's a great name for a mustache pineapple? Kelly Gert. Gert is the perfect name for a mustache pineapple. Honestly, I've never heard of a better name for mustache pineapple other than Gert. Uh-oh. There it is. Okay. I'm putting this out. Just because I want it. I need his support. I need you to look at me, Mr. Pug, and tell me I'm doing a good job. This pug's name is Hacksaw. Named after my friend's pugs. Pug. One pug. She doesn't have, she doesn't have multiple pugs named Hacksaw. That would be weird. <laughs> That'd be funny, actually. Um, let's add a... I'm going to add a spike here. So from here on, it's just like crocheting, single crochets with like little spikes scattered throughout every few rounds. 
but cats, it's just kind of consistently like mangling the crochet. Catching up on your temp temperature blanket is probably a lot more, a lot more red. <laughs> it's been so warm. I don't know how it's been where your guys are living, but here in San Francisco, it has been like this week has been crazy hot. Um, hot for us in February, which is about like 80 degrees. It's pretty warm for February. That's not the hottest it gets. Every now and then it gets over 100, but like that's it usually doesn't get this warm until like September so it's kind of like ooh that's that's global warming huh it's been cold for Florida hmm. I went to uh, I've went to Disney World a few times and every time I've gone there it's been very very warm and very 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 rainy which is a really interesting combo warm rain I like it it's like you just stand out there and you're like ooh it's like a shower you know new temperatures in Texas brand new temperatures wow hot enough to to uh, fry an egg, probably. All right, thank you so much from Norway, the Marias. Thank you from Norway, wow. How do you say thank you from Norway? If you're still here, how do you say thank you from Norway? I, I don't know Norwegian. It's probably really hard to, to speak Norwegian. Maybe not. 18 degrees in Pennsylvania. Yikes, that's cold. Minus 12? Rebecca, where do you live where it's minus 12? Oh my god. Gosh, that's freezing, you guys. What is... Oh, my God. That's so cold. Yikes. Cold enough to freeze a road. What the heck? Wow. Yeah, I am... Uh, you're making me feel very thankful that it's so warm. Here. Tak for alt. Thanks for everything. Tak for alt. Tak for alt. Good night. Tak for alt. Tak. I like that. That's great. Thank you for staying for a second just to say that. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good nut? Maybe good nut. It snowed two weeks ago in Texas. Yeah, well, we wow. I want snow. I never see snow. Very, very rarely. I've only seen it actu actively snowing like three times, I think, in my entire life. Isn't that weird? I've seen snow a pretty decent amount just because, like, we'll drive to the snow or we'll go, like, because, I mean, California still gets snow. But. I never see it actively snowing. The benefits of California, I guess. I don't know. But I don't know if that's a benefit. I like, I would love to see it snowing. Okay. Dad's got to eat. Okay. Bye, Dad. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Enjoy your White Castle hamburgers and cream soda and eat some potato salad and watch the Rams win. Wow, okay, good luck. Who else is playing? I don't even know who's playing. Rams, who are from a place, and someone else that's also from a place. Anybody know? Saudi Arabia? Salma's from Saudi Arabia? Wow. 
Welcome. Oh my gosh, all the way from Saudi Arabia? That's crazy. That's so cool. So you see how the rose is coming together? You see the little the little stems? It's coming. Here we go. Ready? Ooh. Are you gonna get my neck again? Probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna. Here you go. Nope. Mm, not really. Maybe a little bit. Ooh. Cracking, popping, pippity popping in. Got yarn on my foot, yarn on my foot. Yarn stuck in between my toes, that's gross. Let's clean this up a little bit. And a little bit of coffee never hurt. Treetop, anything below 70 degrees is cold. <laughs> I mean, it's not that cold, but... Yeah, usually that is pretty cold. <laughs> I'm such a... I'm such a California weenie. So many single crochets. Once you get into the zone, it's really not too bad though. But it's definitely, if you're crocheting this part and you're stuck in the stem and you're like, oh my gosh, the stem is so difficult. All you need to do is you need to point down and then you need to point up. And that's how you get into these stitches way easier. Point down, point up. Oopsies, I forgot to add a, uh, a spike. Uh, uh, what's it called? A thorn. I forgot to add a thorn. See, uh, I see a Jimbo fur in the corner of my eye. Right here. Yeah, there it is. Jimbo's fur. It gets everywhere. That's how they advertise it. Jimbo's fur. It gets everywhere. Buy it now at a Walmart near you. Yes. Life Pro Chip from Big Turtle Nerd. Uh, always crochet a blanket when using chunky yarn. <laughs> Elena, see ya, thanks for joining. Maybe see you next week. Oh, Olivia's got to go also. See you later, Olivia. Oh, dude, Shasha. That's how you got started with crocheting? That's super cool. Just randomly found, wasn't even looking for it. And boom, it was so well done, I had to try. Oh, that's so cool. Dude, that pattern is brought in. That That is way cool that so many people have like 
that's their pattern that they got started with. That makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. I love that. That's so cool. All right, how many, how long are we going with this rose here? I think we're gonna go probably about a third of the way done, maybe. Eh, maybe not, maybe a little longer than that. We're on a roll right now though. Let's see, what's this one? Let's I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this row straightened again so that we can compare length so we know how long to go. Okay. Yeah, we're about Eh we're doing we're like like two fifths. Let's go with that. Or two fifths of the way there. That's math. That, <laughs> that's math. And here in Math Town, that's math. What? What a weirdo I am. The bell bag was your favorite? Or your first? That's awesome. That's actually not even my original pattern. That one was from uh, from Mr. Sir Pearl Gray, the amazing, talented Sir Pearl Gray. Dude, Tomahawk, congratulations. And now you're going to bed. Thank you for joining. I'm so glad I was able to help you a little bit. Uh, and maybe I'll see you next Sunday for the Strawberry live stream. It's math. We gotta love, you gotta love them. You know, one of the benefits of having facial hair is uh, being able to scratch your arm really easy. You didn't know this, but if you have facial hair, I just have like the smallest amount of facial hair right now because I shaved the other day. But it's just enough that I got a little sandpaper. I could, sh I could scratch my hand really easy. So basically I'm saying everybody should get facial hair. It really helps uh, out a lot with scratching things. Thank you. Wow, cool. How do you say that in Korean? I can tell it's Korean but I don't know how to speak Korean or to read Korean, I should say. But thank you. I don't know how to say thank you in Korean, but thank you. Teach me, teach me. We learned, we learned Norwegian today. Now we get to learn, maybe we can learn Korean? We'll see. The song is like wiggly wobbly. Triceratops! Oh no. I'm having a problem with this stitch. There we go. Let's get back around and I'll have another thorn on the other side. 
Como, 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 wa, como, wo. Ooh, what was the last song? I think it was from, uh, I think that last song was from Mario Kart. I think it was like the Moo Moo. Moo Moo racetrack with all the cows. I'm not positive, but I think that was it. This song sounds all Halloween-y. I bet you we just changed the tracks to be Halloween-y. I'm gonna replay the track that I started this live stream with because uh, it's new for the live stream, and I want I want to hear it again. Do one more one more stitch here. What magnets do I, do I use? Asks Jamie. They say, "What magnets do you use?" Tired of getting some for the duck burb. Or tried getting some, but the magnet was too weak to make them stick to anything. Yes. Okay, so what's really important, and these are the magnets that we use in all the kits, is you want to use a super strong magnet. Um, let me see if I can find the name of them. We order them in bulk. No, they just say refrigerator magnets. But they look like this. Look like this, and they're like ultra super strong. You coming to say hi? Jules is here to say hello. They're like crazy strong. Like, so oh, really I'm in strong. here. Do you want me to open a window? And it's okay. I, we're we're <laughs> hi, everybody. coming to the end. Did you put on your sweater just to show it off? You should show it off if you didn't put it well, on for that. You, I, there's not a lot of room for me to show. <laughs> yeah, here. I guess that's true. Here. I'll what? move over. Huh? What? Well, I guess Hi. I don't. I don't know how the camera. If I the don't camera either. Can see you. <laughs> I'm about to go to a yarn store, so naturally I have to wear something. Oh, that I made. that's why. That's what's happening. Gotcha. Because yeah. I'm like, it's warm. <laughs> I can't believe you're wearing well, that. Well, it's not warm out there. The fog rolled in. Really? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go knit in the fog in Pacifica. It'll be great. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Oh, that's nice. You're making a rose. <gasps> I am. It's so pink. Yeah. It almost blends into the background. I know. They went. With, they they got to choose between. Blue, pink, and purple, and then with pink. Ooh, can you but make a blue one next? <laughs> yeah, yes. I would have voted blue. <laughs> yeah, I can make a blue one next. I, I can't believe, I should have put on yellow and white as because those are actual rose colors, but I didn't. Oh, yeah, white and yellow. I guess blue or You have so much yellow, too, I can see it. I know, I couldn't find it. I was like, what it's is the right yellow? There. I know, I know. It's a giant cone about the size yeah. of my head. And, and I was like, right <laughs> like, at the last second, I was like, oh, there's my yellow yarn. Oopsies. <laughs> Hi. Aw, thanks, Kelly. Good to see everybody. Sorry we haven't uh, uploaded a January I podcast. Up. I told them all about it. Yeah, our life, uh, our lives blew up a little bit. Yeah. Just but we're going to record one tomorrow, maybe? Maybe. I put it on the calendar for tomorrow night after work. Okay. So. I think we could do that. I think that's yeah. realistic. Yeah. <laughs> mm. well, our goal is to get one out before the end of February. So yeah. bear with us. <laughs> soon. Soon. <laughs> soon, yeah. Anyway, hello, goodbye. I'm going to go grab a project bag and then head out. Okay, tell okay. Kelly I say hi. I will. Bye, everybody. Bright roses would have been fun. Woulda, coulda, woulda. Woulda, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Ooh, you should bring back dinner. That would be cool. Okay, so since we're like closer to the end, uh, I'm gonna shout out again. Instagram, go enter the giveaway. Go, there's a link in the description of this video. And let's see how many people have entered to win. I don't think that many people have entered. 30 people, so your chances are still really high. Uh, you just need to comment and tag someone 
that you, uh, that's your Valentine. And that's the giveaway for today. I was gonna announce the winner during the live stream, but you know, I feel like it's not very fair to the people that like couldn't watch live. So I'll tell you what, how about I do the giveaway and announce the winner on uh, at the on Valentine's Day itself. Would that be okay with you guys? Let me know, I hope that's okay. Almost to 350 likes, that means we're gonna do another giveaway next live stream. White roses are depressing? Why are white roses depressing? How are we doing here? Okay, so we need to get like, see, so we're like three fifths. A little bit longer, a little bit more. Hello. What did? The live stream stopped? Uh oh. Did it? No. Not for me. Not on my half. Ah yes, white is kind of kind of boring. They, you associate them with funerals. I associate them with weddings, but I get why you would associate them with funerals. Hi, Yona. Welcome to the stream. Okay, we're good. All right. Thank you, Sarah, for letting me know. Whoa, Big Turtle, you totally should do that. Big Turtle said that they're gonna make a rose and chunky yarn. I would love to see that. A black rose would be pretty cool too. I'm gonna announce the winner. Um, I think I'll announce it on Instagram, but also on YouTube at the same time. So what I'm gonna do, Tammy, is I'm gonna do, um, I'm, I'll wait till tomorrow to announce a winner, just so like people on the YouTube, like that watch the live streams later, or that people, for people that are on Instagram that didn't see it early enough, uh, aren't like, you know, don't get like left out in the dust. So I'll announce it tomorrow by posting it on Instagram and on YouTube on the community channel. So if you're sub as long as you're subscribed, you'll get a notification. And if you are the one that won, I'll reply to you and message you on, on Instagram so that you'll I'll make sure that like you know that it happened. I hope that's okay. Wow, it's 8.30 a.m. in Korea right now? Where's Virginia? Hey, Virginia. She's probably asleep or doing something else. Regina is one of our moderators. We're coming up to the end though-ish, I think. Let's see. 
Yeah, only about, probably only about like 10 more rounds. Maybe, not even. We're doing great. I think like two more thorns probably. It is a noodle, noodle rose. Noodle Rose. What do you guys think about that for a band name? Noodle Rose. <laughs> Noodle Rose. And yeah, maybe that's not that good actually. Maybe that's pretty bad. <laughs> Big Turtle Nerd, do I use stitch markers? Uh, I try to use stitch markers in patterns where I need to keep track of the rounds if I can. Um, but honestly, I'm really bad at using stitch markers. I always forget. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a stem or a thorn right here. Eleven thirty in the UK. Well, we're almost done, so at least there's that. But I'm sorry it's so late. Actually, I think this might be the last thorn that we did because the, I forgot the last bit doesn't need a thorn. So like, yeah, we only have like three more rounds left and then we need to sew on the leaf and then add the wire and sew it closed. So we're almost done, guys. Can you show me near to those Amy Groomies over there from Spain? All right, yeah, sure, Maria, see. Si. See, I can do that. So these guys are called Bonimals. They're coming, the pattern's coming out next month in March. Um, there's a bunch of different kinds. My favorite ones are these frog ones. These ones all have magnets in them. This one's a little pug, and there's a little piglet, and they, and they all like stack together. Um, I have a little pink frog somewhere too. Where's my pink frog? Oh, here it is. I like this one a lot because I do the little, the little goofy, like little ooh, ooh mouth. And this is our owl for uh, the superb owl that is going on right now in America. It is the superb owl. <laughs> but yeah, patterns for those guys are coming out pretty soon. I want to make a reversible pug also. I think that would be fun. Okay, I think we got like, yeah, we're almost, we're almost there. We're almost there. This has been actually a shockingly quick live stream, in, in my opinion, to make an entire rose in just a couple hours. That's not bad. It's a good last minute, quick, quick gift. I'm gonna ship. I don't think I'm gonna send this one to my mom, but I'm gonna send her one of the red ones because I have like so many red roses, and I know she'd love that. And I already gave Jules like two of them. <laughs> She's got so many. I know this pat I know this song, but I can't remember what it's from. Thank you, Mary Ma Maria Ming. Gracias. One time I was, uh, so I'm from California. So the Spanish that I hear most often is uh, Mexican Spanish, like, you know, people from Mexico that speak Spanish. But one time uh, I spent a month in France and uh, most of my friends when I was there were all from Spain. And it was so interesting to hear people from Spain speak Spanish with a, Spa a Spaniard's accent because they they pay, they basically like or at least they were from Barcelona so they everything had a lisp a little bit of a lisp with it and it was so cool it was like si Barcelona 
I really like I really like that accent. I think it's really cool, actually. It makes it easier to speak Spanish, in my opinion. Gracias. Okay, I think like two more rounds, maybe one. Yes, Kelly. How to make your own bonimal or how to make your own uh, uh, pod person. Print out there. I think this is probably... Let's compare them. Compare and contrast. Oh, yeah. This is this is definitely long enough for a rose. We're going to call it here. Let's cut the yarn. And pull this through. We're going to sew this closed in a bit. But first, we need to sew on the... Well... Actually, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is put through the wire, just because it's kind of hard to sew on the leaf after the wire is put on, but yeah, we're just gonna do the wire first, I think. So I'm just gonna straighten this wire out. Almost there. There we go. Okay. So this is this is a fun little trick. Getting the wire. Oopsies. Earthquake. Uh, okay. Just gonna stuff the wire up. All the way. Up our rows. Up the stem. There we go. I think we're in this. Almost there. 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 I got way more wire than I need, though. So we're gonna have to look at that. I went out the tip by accident. There we go. Okay. So we gotta cut our wire a little bit, which means I need my wire cutters, which are. Which. I have somewhere. I have my wire cutters. Yes, so I do. Oh, where did I put them? Oh. Ah, there they are. Yes, pod people, yes. There will be a how to make your own pod people soon. Okay, so we're gonna cut the wire. Pliers, guys. Pliers for cutting wire. Don't use your scissors. You will mess your scissors up. And that is just not worth it. Trust me. Just buy a whole new thing of scissors just because you wanted to cut a wire. All right. Um, I'm going to sew it closed and then sew on our leaf. Because you can sew the leaf on after it's sewn closed anyhow. Front loops. Could use a pipe cleaner or a pen instead. Definitely a pen. A pipe cleaner is a little too weak, I found. Um, you might need like five pipe cleaners maybe. Um, I'm using steel wire just because I, I want it to be as strong as possible. That's what was included in the kits. Uh, steel wire. Aluminum wire might work. It might be a little weak. Um, you really need something strong though because when you hold it up from the bottom. I'll show you in a second. Let me just hide this end in a little bit there we go because when you hold it from the bottom like this if the wire is too weak the thing the whole thing's gonna bend but this steel wire is so strong that it you it doesn't it doesn't bend uh, from the weight of the tip of the rose okay so next thing I want to sew this part on which is actually super easy to sew on and that's gonna be it I think uh, quick shout out again, enter that giveaway. I'm going to do an announcement on YouTube and on Instagram tomorrow for the winner of the giveaway. Let's go down here with it. Go like right here. Uh, 
Do I include brands of your yarn, etc., in the kit? Um, uh, I don't think I do. It's usually Lion or Lily Sugar and Cream. Sometimes I switch it up. Uh, but we are actually working on getting yarn made for uh, Club Crochet. So, yeah, it'll be Club Crochet branded yarn soon. Hopefully. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Yeah, we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna try to get it like yarn that I can actually sell in my shop. That's the goal. This is like kind of like a weird, cute song. Yes, totally. Wire from a coat hanger would totally work. Yeah, I should. I'll, I'll, I'll try to include uh, different brands in the descriptions more. All right. Thread this into the back here. And then we can double knot it. Homespun or manufactured? Definitely manufactured. Uh, homespun for cotton is... Is just diff that's just a difficult one and expensive. That's a very expensive yarn. All right, double knot. One, two, cut close. And let's stuff that end in there. And then we got a rose, baby. All right, dudes and dudettes. If I can get this in there. It's fighting me, though. There we go. Ba -ba -da -ba. We've got a rose. Okay. The last thing I like to do, like I said before, um, it got undone, but is I like to bend all the, or pinch all the ends of the lee, of the petals because it helps like keep them pointed out like that. And it, I don't know, it makes it look more rosy to me. More rosy. There we go. Not bad. Pink rose. Let's go ahead. I'm going to do this bend. We're going to have it. I'll try to get it to sit up. There we go. Not bad. Nope. Balance. There you go. Da 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 da! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, this pattern will be free for the next few days. Uh, make sure to sign up now for a pro kit to get our uh, to be signed up for for the reversible frog crochet kit this is going to be with wool yarn this high quality wool worsted weight yarn that is so it's so soft but it's also just like really cool and easy to bend so it's very cool hey thanks for subscribing judith i don't know if you're in the in the uh, chat right now or not but thank you for subscribing if you're not subscribed go subscribe right now like this video if you haven't yet. We'll do another giveaway next live stream. Next live stream, same time, same place, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we're going to be making strawberries, giant strawberries from Druby Zoo's new pattern that's coming to the site this week. So this new pattern is coming out on Friday. It's very cute. Let's just put it right there. Just like that. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, Jimbo, 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 Jimbo. Thank you, Elena. Let's get, let's get Jimbo in here. Come here, bud. Yes, you 
Ooh, come on. Come here. Yeah, come here. They want to say hi. Yeah, they want to say hi to you. Yeah. This is Jimbo. He's got a booger on him. Say hi. <laughs> Can you hear him purring? Hey. What? Where are you going now? You want to say bye? Are you going to bite me? Don't bite me. He likes to bite faces. He's a big fan of biting my face when I'm in the middle of sleeping. He's so cute, though. Just a big ball of fur. Whoa, okay. I get it. Get down. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, Jimbo says goodbye. Thank you for watching. Pasta La Pizza. See ya next Sunday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you know what, Kelly? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. You hang up first. No, no, no. You hang up first, Jimbo. No, you hang up first. Jimbo. You hang up first. No. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Here, we'll let, we'll let him purr into the microphone. Say bye. Okay. <laughs> See you guys. Meow. <laughs>